Hello my students, I am your Vidita ma'am and our today's topic is photosynthesis. Already we have discussed regarding this topic but today's class is for the synopsis or we can say a repeat class. Okay, so photosynthesis means what? Synthesis means production with the help of the light. The green plants, they will take the light energy. After capturing, they will prepare the food, means the glucose. So, this kind of nutrition is known as the autotrophic nutrition. Some are also chemoautotrophic, means using the chemical energy only, like some bacteria. Photoautotrophic means the green plants. If they are Heterotropic means dependent on the phototropic nutrition. It can be holozoic like human beings or amoeba also. Parasitic like host parasite interaction. Symbiotic like dependent on each other or saprophytic means they are dependent on the dead and decaying components. This particular video specially for the autotropic nutrition and the photosynthesis so I am focusing there most this is the raw materials CO2 H2O taken and with light energy and plant enzymes formed glucose C6H12O6 oxygen and water you can see the equation is balanced CO2 taken from the environment, water through the plant, through, through the plant roots, they will absorb the water and with the help of the chlorophyll, light energy, enzymes, they will ultimately prepare the glucose. So, don't forget this equation. Without that, we can't proceed. Now, this kind of diagram present in your book where if we dissect a plant leaf, we can see the in the meat, the xylem and then surrounding the phloem. It is known as the vascular bundle. There, inside that upper epidermis, the layers, then we are getting the chloroplast. These are the main part which will provide, which will prepare rather the food. So, closer view. Plant cell, then chloroplast. Within the chloroplast, membrane bound structure. The yellowish part is the stroma, green colored structure. Next, third one, granum. Within the granum, each and every layer, disc like structure is thylakoid. Within the thylakoid, we are getting the chlorophyll. Solar energy is captured by this chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is a means. Uh, you can say a molecule, okay, it will take the sun's solar energy. So, now you can see the granum or thylakoid within that the chlorophyll, they are taking the sun's solar energy. They are excited. So, excited condition, they will release the electrons. But, after few moments, when the electrons of this chlorophyll coming to the its original position the extra energy released whatever the energy is captured it is released that one is helped to formation of ADP and PI and already formed and the ADP and PI will form the ATP okay so the first point Chlorophyll captures energy and forms ATP. So here light energy to chemical energy conversion done. Secondly, as a source of electron within the cell, you are now focusing within the cell, there will be the water. Water is split in H plus and H minus ion and they will release the electrons. So, as a result, here from as a byproduct from the 
water oxygen released the second point splitting the water molecules supply constant source of electrons and h ions it will reduce the nadp and the by product oxygen formed so what is the nadp within the cell just below the atp you can focus you can see there nadp h nadp conversion written so nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate this component as a helper of the enzyme component present they need to be reduced when water splitted to supply electron the h plus and h minus ion formed h plus will reduce nadp h minus will provide oxygen i am repeating now again within the cell water present that water splitted to supply the electrons this water splitted to h plus and h minus h plus will reduce nadp which is needed for the next phase and the h minus is the sole source of the oxygen in this way oxygen by product formed and nadp is reduced okay now this reduced nadp nadp h and atp needed for the next half named as the kelvin cycle it is performed in the stroma the matrix part not in the grana so this is the third point the reduced nadp means the first point of the next part reduced nadp with the help of enzymes combined co2 and a five carbon component to make six carbon compound glucose this is the dark reaction which does not need the sunlight directly as already it is getting the atp so this is the light reaction left side this is the dark reaction let's sum up the points this three points first absorption of light energy by chlorophyll two conversion of light energy to chemical energy and splitting of water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen what is the need of the splitting of hydrogen already told to reduce nadp reduction third point reduction of co2 to carbohydrate this is the structure of the stomata which will help to intake the co2 and the oxygen more water means open in shrunk condition close so uh, in this way plant cell performs the photosynthesis go through your ncert text with this uh, all the last videos of photosynthesis and this one as a revision class hopefully your concept is clear bye we will meet in the next class